And if we continue this way to the east wing, you will find all our nuclear waste storage and treatment centers. Colonel, this doesn't exactly look like it's up to safety procedures. Please. This facility has passed every health and safety inspection since the 1950s. <laughs> oh, my eyes! Oh, God, my eyes! Oh! Uh, he wasn't following standard safety procedures. Onward! Soldier never loses it. There's a map of every floor next to the elevators. Jeannie Brightly, of course. Aren't you uh, behind on schedule? I'm never behind schedule, Colonel. I make the schedule. Who is this? Hi, I'm Sam. I'm Sam Walker. I'm new here. It's my birthday. I've just been assigned to Secretary. 7 G, yes! Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, you know Alex has been down there operating alone for like six months? Not looking good, Colonel. <clears throat> right this way. Oh, it's 7G. Oh my god, I can't, I can't even begin to explain how excited I am to really sink my teeth into this project. This is Alex. First line of defense against the nuclear holocaust. Uh, hi Alex, I'm Sam. <laughs> Sam Walker, it's, it's my first day here. I'm just so psyched to be here. Sam, that's your chair. Alex will show you the ropes. And make sure you're careful with this stuff, thank you. It's all confidential and expensive. I poured a lot of my money into this, okay? You put your money into this? Is this not a government-run facility? So who do you think is funding the government? Brightly Corp. What? Come on now. Where do our tax dollars go, Jeannie? I'm not legally authorized to say that. Have a good evening, uh, guys. Bye, Jeannie. Bye, Jeannie. <laughs> so this is Sector 7G. Exciting stuff. <laughs> um, what's the first thing I should know? Sam, right? Yeah. Can you answer a phone? Yeah. Can you press a button? Uh, totally. Great. You've been orientated. I have to piss. Okay. <laughs> Alex? Alex, hello, the phone? Hello? Yeah, okay, I'll be, I'll be right on it. Did that phone ring? It never rings. Yeah. What the fuck happened to you? It was the president! Bullshit, it was the president. Yeah! No. <laughs> I know it was the president because when I answered, he said, hello, this is the president. Okay, so that is something that presidents say? <laughs> well, we have to press the button. What? We have to press the button. He said that we're going to be nuked and we have to nuke first. Okay. What country are we nuking? Huh? Button. Huh? Sam. 
Yeah, button. What country are we nuking? I don't know. I have to talk to the colonel. Fuck. Oh my god. Ah! Fuck. You guys heard the good news? It's showtime. No, no, no. Whatever that is, never do that again. Uh, colonel, he didn't give me a country. What do you mean? He just said, uh, you gotta nuke him before we get nuked first. Uh, nuke, I don't know who them is. He, he didn't tell me who. Okay, call him back. It's a one-way line, Gigi. Listen, I just fund the nuclear arsenal running through Wall Street. I don't run it. So what do we do? We follow orders. Fire the nuke. Just at anybody? As long as it's one of the bad guys? Sure. Bad guys? China. Russia. North Korea. The Middle East. The Middle East I vote for Russia. No, Russia is out of the question. Look, at Brightly and Brightly, our biggest competitor is the Chinese. And what screams competition better than nuking your competitors? This is not about your bottom line, Jimmy. Yes, yes, it matters, especially now. Have you seen these files? Should, we should be considering every angle of how this will affect Brightly and Brightly. Like, what time will the nuke impact? Will the markets be open? Who's gonna trigger the launch? Have we considered the optics of a woman of color pressing the big red button? Oh, I have a great way to deal with a situation like this. Write all your options on a sheet of paper, close your eyes, spin around, put your finger back down, and the option you're closest to, that's the one you go with. I love that. What do you call that? The dumbest shit method. I don't know what you're saying.